Hey, how's it going? It's Walsh here, sick as always. Welcome to episode 11 of my Ruthless SSF run on Acropolis League. So, I'm pretty much at the point now where I'm, st I'm between two builds. Whichever one of those builds I drop the final support gem I need for, I'm just going to roll it. Uh, one of them I have a ton of gear for, the other one I don't have pretty much any, but uh, I don't care. Anyway, I hope you enjoy the video, and uh, I'll see you near the end. Every single league since Ruthless has started, I have wanted an axe that I could actually play melee with. Now we finally have one. So, like I was saying, I'm stuck between two builds right now, and whichever one I get the support gem for, I'm just going to instantly roll it. Um, I'm not going to really push this character to 91, because I keep making stupid decisions. Like, I ran this map. I, I didn't think added Fizz as Chaos would be a huge deal, but my god. That, that blade flurry <laughs> is terrifying. But yeah, anyway, uh, I really like this character. I've had a lot of fun with it, and honestly... If, like, my next character isn't great at bossing, I'm probably going to keep using this character for the league until I have a good bosser. So, uh, just because I'm going to reroll doesn't mean that I'm done with this character. Also, it all depends if I find the uh, gem anyway. So, I took down a Veritania, which feels pretty good. It's nice to be able to just, like, go in and kill Conquerors and kill, like, Guardian stuff and not sweat it. Uh, okay, <laughs> greater volume spell total, pretty cool. I'm um, also looking for a support gem for this character. Uh, some of you have pointed out that I did have a fortify. That is correct, but uh, I did use it in a three to one because I am an idiot. I swear, every time I'm always like, I'm never gonna need this gem, and I three to one it, and like five seconds later, I'm like, dude, what the hell did you vendor that for? Uh, anyway, the Minotaur fight was easy. If you saw the beginning of that clip, I actually tanked a Minotaur slam. I don't know if like the damage gets like decreased if you're near the edge because i was definitely near the edge of it but uh i somehow tanked it i take a lot of things to be honest with you like a lot of things were like if i was playing my ice nova character i would like right here i'd be dead 100 percent granted the boss probably would have died 10 seconds ago but uh <laughs> i would definitely die and somehow as a berserker i'm surviving a lot of stuff i greatly underestimated the ridiculous healing of having just the war cry 15 percent heal like my god <laughs> it's it's actually kind of legit so I was looking at my gear and I realized even without resistance on my boots, I can actually uh, remain res capped even in Ellie weakness maps. And that's without endurance charges. So uh, I decided to put on the Dawn Striders and my god, the damage difference was immediate. Like holy crap, the paper DPS didn't change very much. Not like I said, not that, that means anything. But my god, I felt the increase. Uh, there are definitely some bosses where I just feel like I just don't do a lot of damage. I'm not really sure why and I'm going to be honest with you. I think the problem is I don't make sure like I, I need to make sure I have all three war cries on before I war cry or before I attack probably against bosses. Cause a lot of the time I do so much damage I can kill rares just by doing like having one exerted attack thing or whatever you know what I mean. But uh, against the bosses that is not the case. Anyway though it's still despite all of that it really is good at bossing. Like great it's not my fastest like kill time ever. But it's pretty good, and I usually don't die. This character is... I, I, sorry I keep bringing it up, but, like, I'm just kind of shocked. I have never had a Berserker, like, this defensive. It's it's kind of ridiculous. Could you imagine... Hey, Exiles. Could you absolutely imagine if I had Determination on this character? Like, dude, my auras are awful. <laughs> like, what the heck? I mean, granted, Arctic Armor is pretty nice, but uh, outside of that... And anyway, we got a key rack mission, which is very nice. Granted, they're not, like, super useful right now besides getting unique maps. But, uh, I absolutely need unique maps, so, hey, I'm not gonna complain. Doing a little crafting just to make some space, and, uh, it's a... <laughs> hey, I mean, I'll take that, man. It's not that bad. It's too bad it rolled fire damage. If that was Fizz, oh my god. But, hey, that's like a 40 chaos res ring and, uh, tier 1 life. <laughs> hey, Hydra, nice. I only need, uh, Chimera now that I can fight Shaper. I think this character would delete Shaper. I am almost convinced that I could stand in the beam for a few seconds and survive with War Cries, like attack a few times and then get out. I'm going to try it, which might waste the portal and be dumb, but I almost feel like it could. Anyway, uh, the Hydra fight was a joke. Oh my god. <laughs> plus one Frenzy and plus one set. If that was actually like a good bow, holy shit. Or one arrow and one Frenzy charge, man. I did keep the bow because, like, <laughs> those two are kind of crazy, but I don't think there's any world where you could save it. Like, what would you even use with that? Anyway, I am using my third tree now, which is for strong boxes. And actually, you know what? I'll just put it down in the description if you want to see it. But TLDR is it gives strong boxes. It does the necropolis, obviously. 
but it also gives me alpha and the uh, <laughs> game thing with oh uh, heist. Sorry, I couldn't think of what it was called. Anyway, it's a little more crafting, make it some more space. Got a challenge done, I guess. I'm not really sure what I did, but okay, sounds good. <laughs> Forty in thirty decks. My God. I mean, whatever. You know, I'll keep it. There, there's a chance I'm playing a character that needs those uh, attributes anyway, so I'll take it. Anyway, another Elder Guardian gets slapped, and we got a Minotaur. Man, <laughs> I'm actually getting a lot of Guardians, which is kind of nice. I'm pretty sure this character would delete Elder. Shaper should be no problem at all. I'm not really sure how Uber Elder would go, but uh, I would definitely try it. Got the key rack mission, which is sick. Doing some more Harbingers, and uh, got our first Divine Orb. I mean, I had to die for it, but hey, whatever. I mean, granted, the Divine Orb isn't why I died, but uh, that's fine. I got one. I have absolutely nothing to use it on for once, so I get to just hold on to it. For once, I get to just be like, hey, I have one in the stash. Anyway, I got a Lens Temple. I figured I might as well run it. Go for a couple uh, Corrupted Gems here. But first, going to do a swap. I mean, getting a Biscos would be pretty disgusting. And it's a, uh, <laughs> I got a toe. Wow. I can't really complain, though. Just being in an Alva Temple makes me feel happy inside. I know I'm going to get at least one support gem from these uh, gem rooms. I mean, great. Hey, look at that. A second, second wind. Squared wind, if you would. Um, I know I'm pretty much always going to get a support gem. I shouldn't say always. I'm going to jinx myself. I got two. Very nice. Uh, like I said, I'm still looking for one support gem for either character. I'm kind of surprised I haven't found it yet. <laughs> I mean, granted, like, it makes sense. Anyway, going for a double corrupt. And it failed. <laughs> oh, wonderful. I mean, this character is not going to use Molten Shell. I am not adding another freaking button to this build. I mean, if you're some kind of absolute monster, and you're like, I can add another button, no problem. I totally would go for Molten... If you could use Val Molten Shell with everything I'm doing, I don't know what would kill you. Besides not having Molten Shell up. <laughs> like, honestly. Gotta be honest with you. But uh, I would not self-cast just the Molten Shell itself. That sounds like an absolute nightmare. And, dude, like I was saying, oh my god, do not vendor that. <laughs> uh, like I was saying, like, if I had Determination, my, not just, like, the armor that would feel nice in maps, but, like, my Molten Shell would be huge, dude. It would be ridiculous. Every time I see a support gem now, my heart, like, stops for a second. It's like, oh, do I get to reroll? No. Usually the answer is no. Hopefully very soon, I really want to roll one of these characters. One of them is going to be very rough. The other one, I don't know. I refuse to make a POB for it until I at least hit maps, because it's such a nostalgic skill for me. By the way, we got a Blanching, which uh, <laughs> obviously failed. But uh, it's such a nostalgic skill for me. I haven't played it for like since I stopped playing Hardcore, pretty much. It's way back in the day. I will say I did switch back to my Essence Tree for a little while. It is so satisfying when you hit a Screaming Essence, and you're just like, oh, I'm getting two of them, because the boss drops one as well. Dude, it's such a, oh my god, such a sick node. My god. Especially when you start, look at this, Shriekings and Screamings. Like, dude, what the hell? Like, could you imagine? I don't, actually, you know what? I don't know how that works. If you corrupt the Essence, got a Regal, by the way. If you corrupt it, and it's just one, and it, like, goes up a tier... Does the boss get what was originally in the essence? Or do they get what was it, uh, one of the uh, essence that was in it when you open it? I don't actually know, and I want to test that, because my god, you could get some... Look at that! I got two shriekings! Two! What the hell? So, obviously, I immediately went to craft. Unfortunately, uh, I ended up just deleting a bunch of scours. I mean, to be fair, like that gives a lot of damage, but uh, it's not great. <laughs> the belt's okay. Listen, not every essence can hit. But every essence gives you a chance. We got a gem cutter's box, which, my god. I I love the strongbox notes, dude. I don't know what to tell you. I remember, I think it was, was it the first or second Ruthless where I league started by going straight for strongboxes? And now, granted, it was, like, pretty bad because I didn't get a lot of map sustain. But, dude, I had gems. <laughs> Let me tell you, I had a lot of gems. Now, I'm not going to stand here and say anyone, not even a new player or experienced player, should League start by using strong boxes, but uh, I kind of want to try it next league and just see how it goes. I mean, like, I don't know, man. It, it would probably be kind of awful because, oh, man, you know what I thought those were, right? But they're not. Whatever. Uh, but, like, man, if, I, if it was good, like, if you could get enough cartographer's boxes and double those maps, I don't know, man. I don't think it would be that consistent, but I think it would be fun. Anyway, got some more Kirak missions. I don't even know how many Kirak missions I have. It's kind of a ridiculous amount. Ooh. Please. Something awesome. 
You know what, though? Two Chaos Orbs <laughs> is kind of awesome, bro. <laughs> Especially when you have zero. Finding two is a lot better than finding one, let me tell you. But yeah, strong boxes. Uh, I love Essence, but I'm going for the boxes. And uh, Mold Shell, nice. <laughs> and a six leak. All right. I mean, obviously, I'm just going to vendor it, but hey, whatever. That's 20 fusings. Anyway, going for another attempt, praying for a five link. We do not want it to six link. We do not want it to six link. We want to just put something else there. And if like it's an aura, it's going to get like mana reservation stuff, which is going to be annoying. And uh, we got the five link. All right, we're done. Nice. I immediately noticed the freaking difference. My God. Being able to just infinitely have all your war cries up, or just like mass healing yourself like an unkillable god, 10 out of 10. My god. If, honestly, if you were League starting with this, right? If you were League starting with Earth Shatter, uh, you, what I would do is only use two war cries until you have this. Your dream is to get a second win. Life tap makes it even better. But dude, my god, when you have second wind on this build, my god. Also, I don't know if you noticed, but uh, in this clip you're watching right here, I am using a 400 DPS axe, and I'm only on a 5 link. Now, obviously I do less damage, but the character still felt great. <laughs> it really did. I'm using a 6 link here. But uh, that whole last clip that you saw, the last like 20 or 30 seconds, was a 5 link, and just a, I'm going to put the, I have the axe up for you already if I didn't <laughs> forget to put it in. But uh, I was just using a 400 DPS axe, and this is a tier 15 felt really nice now granted like i'm not gonna sit here and tell you hey if you leave start as a melee you're definitely gonna find a 400 dps axe you might have a 200 or a 300 dps axe you know and uh <laughs> i'm sure that will be rough i'm not gonna lie to you i'm not gonna sit here and tell you that uh league starting as earth shatter is gonna be a good idea but i will promise you it will be significantly better than league starting with cleave of rage so we re-rolled. It has been many, many years since I have been able to play Earthquake. And my god, am I excited. So less duration was the gem I was looking for for this skill. And when I said I have a lot of gear, you already know I got a lot of gear. I got a 6 link, got a 700 DPS axe. The last time I played Earthquake was in one of the, uh, what, what the heck were those called? Mayhems? One of the hardcore Mayhems, I was playing a one-handed bleed gladiator. So yeah, just just saying, that was a long time ago. <laughs> that was a long time ago, okay? And uh, the first time I ever played Melee, so I started in Hardcore Talisman League, and uh, I liked Totem characters a lot, I liked Bow characters a lot, and I think it was the next League or the League after that, they actually added Earthquake to the game. Or at least I found out about Earthquake. And uh, I always, I'll never forget the first time I hit the ground, Right? It did the little thing. I was like, this skill sucks. And then it was like, kaboom! And I was like, oh my god! So yeah, I want to play this skill. <laughs> I miss Earthquake. I love it. I'm very excited. So I am playing as a champion. The main thing that gets me killed on the Earth Shatter character, besides like, you know, poison. Poison deletes me. But, uh, is when I go into a room where I'm walking forward, and I don't have Fortify up, and I just get dropped by like 8,000 projectiles. So with Champion, my Fortify is worse, but I have it all the time. And my god, what a drastic difference. What an absolute ridiculous difference. So uh, leveling this character was an absolute breeze. Going through like the campaign, like so I leveled to like Act 4 and I realized I didn't have a lesser, less duration gem, because I thought I did. Uh, and uh, I was like, this sucks. So I went back to the Earth Shatter character and I was between those two builds like I was saying. But now, uh, <laughs> let me tell you, as soon as I put less duration on, the campaign was a joke. Like, I was stunning everybody. I was just running through every map, just overkilling stuff. It was fantastic. When I got to maps, it was just a freaking joke. As soon as I hit level 68, I had a 6 link, and I was using my 700 DPS weapon. And this dude's just like, okay, fair enough. I'm like level, like, I don't even know, dude. I don't think I'm level 70 yet. And uh, I'm just deleting everything. Dude, this is sick. I highly doubt it's going to have more damage than Earth Shatter, because, dude, Earth Shatter does crazy damage. Oh, okay. why chaos? Whatever. Um, Earth Shattered is crazy damage, but dude, if I could just get Earthquake to be strong enough to do like Elder or Shaper or Uber Elder, that would be awesome. Dude, that would be like a dream come true to like use Earthquake to kill Pinnacles, dude. Oh my god. Dude, this is going to end up being like my all-time favorite league for like the rest of my life. 
just because of this, <laughs> just because of this freaking axe, dude. Like, what the? I didn't even get it from the league mechanic. It just came from Delve. That that's the thing about Ruthless, man. You just use what you find. Hey, incursion. And what we're finding is Alva and offerings, which is great. So, uh, the main thing that kills me right now is the fact that I only have 40 lightning res. <laughs> so, like, things that do lightning damage kill me. But outside of that, I pretty much don't die. So, I went and did a little bit of crafting. I do have a mega craft in the works, but that's for a different build. Can't really talk about that. <laughs> anyway, I did make a helmet that does res cap me finally, which is fantastic. I mean, it's not a great roll. I lost, like, a thousand armor, which felt pretty bad, but... Hey, you gotta do what you gotta do. Anyway, do it for crafting, try to get some gloves. Wow, those are actually close. You know I'm using the same gloves that were on my Cleave of Rage character? I have still not found anything better. <laughs> this whole time. Anyway, uh, even empowered bosses in Tier 11 are just a joke for me. The Earthquake is freaking hilarious. My Dude, when Fist of War pops, which is like every 1.5 seconds, your Earthquake just doubles in size almost. <laughs> it's uh, It's pretty radical. It's a pretty good time. Uh, like I said, though, the only thing that was killing me is when I was not uh, when I was not lightning capped. Got some more alpha incursions. The main goal on this character right now is just to push and level up to, like, what? I'm thinking 88, but honestly, I think I want to push to level 90. I think I would just get to level 90 and then uh, start killing some bosses, hopefully. But I don't know. <laughs> it's all going to depend on how I feel and what happens. Like, maybe when I get to tier 14s, which is pretty soon, uh, when I get to tier 14s consistently, maybe I'll just, like, <laughs> do the bosses as they drop. I never really know, man. All I know is I'm playing Earthquake, and I'm playing Ruthless, and I'm playing SSF, and it's a great time. So, I'm mostly bouncing between, like, tier 11s and 14s right now. I like to stick in the higher tiers, but you can't really control that with this character. I kind of want to level up safely. And I went and did some delving, which uh, feels pretty awesome. Honestly, nothing really kills me. Oh my god, the resonators. Hey, if man, it's part of the video, I just want to say thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I am currently level 78, 47% of the way to 79. Um, my resists are pretty good. I am res capped. Um, I'm even almost positive on chaos res, and that's while using a Ventor's Gamble, because I might as well get some free quants. Uh, I have a lot of open sockets. I don't really know what I'm going to do with them yet, if I can even do anything. I'm thinking of setting up a Reckoning setup, and having that do my curse, because my, I, I don't know, that's the thing, that my intelligence is, like, awful, like, my guy struggles, okay, I don't really know, I don't really know what I'm gonna do for that, we'll see, um, anyway, my tree goals as followed, I do have the Master of Metal, Fortitude, and First to Strike, Last to Fall, and my last one will be Inspirational, uh, the cool thing is, because of the Life Mastery, I actually can as low life, while at 55% of maximum life, which means I actually trigger adre Adrenaline before I even hit half HP, which is pretty sick, and my god, Adrenaline is ridiculous. I can't remember the last time I actually had Adrenaline on the character, but uh, it's pretty nice. Anyway, here's a quick look at my tree. I will have a POV down below of a snapshot of my current character. Uh, I would like to get rid of these resistance nodes because uh, <laughs> that feels real bad, but hey, what are you going to do? Um, I think what I'll do is end up getting Champion of the Cause. Even though I don't have, oops, even though I don't have any auras right now, I'm hoping I will get one. Dude, if I get Pride, my god. My god. Uh, anyway, in terms of the stash, I, I'm saving up some currency now, man. I, I feel like a rich boy. 18 alterations? My god. Things are things are looking up. My map pool is fantastic. You know, infinite. I don't know why I'm, I just have infinite 13s, but uh, it's probably because I'm not really running them. I'm always doing 14s or whatever. Uh, I have one... Yeah, I only have one more tier 16, and then I am done with my 16s. But I would like to 79 first, because I guarantee you this map is going to make me die. Uh, anyway, I just want to say thank you so much for watching. Sorry this video is so long. Uh, there might be a video tomorrow. If not, I will see you on Monday.